Hey there, Deborah Donaldson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about OTOs, upsells, downsells. Oh my! So I can't tell you how many times I have heard people complain about trying to get a freebie offer, and then lo and behold, someone tried to sell them something. Well, let me tell you, this is the way affiliate marketing works. If they did not do that, affiliate marketing would not exist as a way to make money online. So if all we did as affiliate marketers was just get traffic to our freebie giveaway and nothing happened after that, there's no way that we would be able to make any kind of money with this industry. So this is the way affiliate marketing works. If you want to be an affiliate marketer, realize this is the way it works, accept it, em embrace it, and start to utilize it yourself so that you can create the income that you want. So what are OTOs, upsells and downsells, and when do they come into effect? Well, first things first, what's, what you're trying to do as an affiliate marketer, whether it's through paid ads or organic marketing, is you are trying to get traffic to your capture page or opt-in page. And this is where you might have your freebie giveaway you are using an ethical bribe to get someone's email address. Once you get that email address, that person is going down to your autoresponder, which is basically a database of the email addresses so that you can follow up with these people and uh, answer any questions, provide value, uh, and provide them with other content. So when does an OTO actually happen? So after the person enters their information on the capture page, they are going to be going to the sales page. And this is where it says, hey, this is everything you're getting with this offer. And then down at the bottom, there's usually a little box that says, hey, for an additional $37, $47, $97, um, you can add in um, audio recordings of this presentation, or you can get another uh, product which is a complement to what you've already purchased. It's not something that's totally different. It's going to complement what you have already purchased. And typically an OTO happens before your credit card information is entered onto the sales page, or it might be, it might be on that same page. So if you want the OTO, uh, one-time offer, uh, then what you would do is on the sales page, you would say, yep, I want that additional thing, add it in, enter your credit card information, and then you would go on to the next page. So on to the next page, what happens is this is where an upsell happens. Like, hey, I see you got, uh, you entered your information on the sales page. Um, as a result of that, you may find, you know, on top of the audio recordings, which was the OTO, that you might get a lot of benefit from these video recordings or a mastermind or uh, some other thing that's going to add, uh, you know, another 97, 197, 497, whatever it is. Uh, this is when the upsell happens. Is typically after you've entered in your credit card information, you're going on to the next page in the funnel. Uh, and then this is this is the upsell. And then say you decide, no, I'm happy with my purchase the way it is. I, uh, I don't want the upsell. Well, then what's going to happen is you are going to be sent to what's called a downsell page. And the downsell page could be whatever this upsell product was. Hey, um, you know, I see that you didn't take this offer. Would it be helpful if it was a two pay option? So instead of being, um, you know, $97, maybe it's two payments of 47. Or it might be actually another product that's a lower price product. Or uh, if it was an offer where um, you got 12 coaching sessions, the downsell might be only six coaching sessions. Uh, so it's a lower priced uh, option of, of the upsell or a different sort of offer. But it usually occurs if you don't take the upsell. Now on this very simplistic version of a funnel, some of these funnels get very complicated with upsells. You know, many times there's three or four or five or six different upsells with three or four or five or six different downsells. So this is just a very basic version of how the funnel works. So if you do take the upsell, 
Um, and it's the simplified version, then what's going to happen is you're going to go on to the thank you page and they're going to say, hey, thank you for your purchase. In order to access it, check your email, you'll get your login information, you'll get the product you can download, or uh, on this page there's a button where you can download your product right away. So that's going to take you to the thank you page. So that is a basic funnel right there. Now on, and this is what we call the front end, all of this part here is the front end. Now on the back end, which is the autoresponder and the follow-up emails, what's happening is you got their email address when they opted in to get your freebie and you are going to be emailing these people and you're gonna be sending, if they didn't purchase, you're gonna be sending them back to the, the sales page like, oh, I see you missed out, you know, maybe, maybe this product is gonna interest you, these are some additional things you're getting. And so you're gonna have some emails that are gonna take them back to the sales page. Now, the nice thing about the back end, and this is typically where the profit is made, is as you go through the email series, you're going to be able to promote other offers. And this backend area, this is where the profit is made. Now, on the front end, basically, you're lucky if you break even. And if you do break even, then everything after that, your leads are free because you are going to be promoting to them on the back end. You're going to send them back to the sales page. You're going to send them to other offers, maybe some high ticket offers. And as your list grows, this is where your profit is made. So if you are new to affiliate marketing, realize that if you are signing up for a freebie giveaway, <laughs> you are going to be getting some other offers. Now, this happens in uh, business, brick and mortar businesses too. Uh, when you go to McDonald's, they ask you if you want to supersize it or would you like fries with that? They're going to ask you to add on to your order and that's where they are making their profit. So this happens in everyday life and so I don't know why people get so upset when it happens in affiliate marketing. But just realize that on the front end, if this is your whole business and you are not capturing email addresses, you're not going to last very long because typically you are, if you're lucky, you're breaking even. Uh, if not, a lot of times people are losing money on this top part. And it's down here on this bottom, what we call the back end, where then they are making up their profit and they're following up with their people uh, on their uh, on their list. They're, like I said, they're providing other offers, they're sending them back to the sales page, they might have high ticket offers, and depending on how well you nurture your list, how much value you provide, um, typically if someone has purchased from you in the past, it's going to be easier to make another sale to them in the future. So in terms of uh, your uh, email list, knowing who is a buyer and who is not, and uh, creating your list of what we call buyer's list, that is a very valuable list and this is important to know on the people that subscribe to your list. So I hope you have found this quick tutorial to be helpful. Don't get mad if you see upsells, downsells, uh, OTOs. This is how the affiliate marketer is uh, trying to break even and make some money on their advertising or organic marketing costs. And if you are planning on being an affiliate marketer, you're going to be doing the same thing if you want to make it in this business. So uh, tough love, get used to it, and uh, stay tuned for some more tutorials.